Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how we can easily download and install the current MySQL version on Windows. We will install the MySQL server, shell as well as workbench. Let's see, at first go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google type MySQL. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible, mysql.com, click on it. On reaching the official website, click on Downloads. Now the download section is visible. Go below. And herein, search for MySQL Community GPL Downloads. Click on it. After reaching here, click on MySQL Installer for Windows. After clicking, now the current version will be visible. MySQL Installer 8.0.32. And herein, two versions are visible. This works for both 64 bit as well as 32 bit. So you just need to click on download here for, for 437 MB. Click on download. Now click no thanks, just start my download. Now the download will begin. Here it is 437 MB. Let's wait. The download completed. Double click on it to install. Minimize. The setup will start now. The setup started. Beginning you can see the setup type you need to choose. Since I want to know what I am installing right now for beginners, I will be going for the custom. Click on next. On clicking next, go to available products. Click on MySQL and check the drop down. Go to MySQL server, go below, go inside and here is the current version. Just move it by clicking here. Now do the same for applications. Click on MySQL Workbench and click on the following. For x64, it is visible. Okay, drag it. Now the last one for shell, here it is. And do the same. Now we have all the three products we wanted. Click on next. Now the installation setup is visible, ready to install for all three, server, workbench and shell. Click on execute. Now it will install one by one. The setup is complete now, click on next. Product configuration, click on next. Now the type and networking section is visible, here in the port is 3306 which is fine. Keep the default and click on next. Now authentication method, you can use a strong password or a basic legal authentication. I would rather prefer you to go for this and recommend it is also visible, so keep it as it is and click on next. Now you need to add the root password for your MySQL. Let's set a password. Okay, you can use my password. Okay, so now your admin is root. Click on next. Here in Windows service, everything looks fine. Click on next. Server file permissions. Okay, so your data directory is the following wherein your database will get saved. Keep the default and click on next. Now apply configuration one by one all these steps will complete and your MySQL will get installed. Click on execute. You can see one by one the steps are going on. Click on finish. You can see the configuration is successful. Click on finish to continue. Configuration complete, click on next. Now you can see installation complete. It will start the MySQL workbench and shell after clicking finish. It's fine, click on finish. Now the workbench is visible, let's click on it. Before that, let us set the environment variables. Go here. 
Now after reaching here, click on C drive. Now go to program files. Here and go to MySQL. Here it is. Double click. Now go to server. Bin. And copy this path. Copy. Minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Click on edit the system environment variables, the following. Click on open. Now under system properties, advanced tab, click on environment variables. Now under system variables, go to the path section, here it is. And double click on it. After double clicking, all the paths we have set are visible here. Click on new. Right click and click on paste. We are pasting the same path, the bin path. Click on OK. OK and the last OK. That's it. So we have successfully installed MySQL. We were at workbench. Click on it. Okay, so we have reached the workbench. Minimize. Go to start. Type CMD. Click on open to open the command prompt. Here it is. We have reached the command prompt. Here in type MySQL hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Now you can see the current 8.0.32 version is successfully installed and the same is visible. Now let us start our MySQL server, MySQL hyphen u, hyphen u is user, user was our root and hyphen p press enter. Now enter the same password which we have said before, press enter. Now we have started with the MySQL server. Now let us check the default databases by typing the command show databases semicolon and press enter. Here is the default databases. Now let us quickly create a database, type create space database, enter database name you want to and a database you want to create. Let's say I want to create AmitDB and I'll just press semicolon and press enter. Now a database will get created because it's written query okay one row affected. Now I'll type the same command show databases and my database will be visible. Semicolon press enter. Now you can see my AmitDB database is visible. Now we can create table in it and work on other operations. If you want to learn how to work around MySQL, the complete free tutorial, you can refer the link in the description of this video. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily download and install MySQL current version on Windows. Thank you for watching the video.